All right, hello everybody. Kevin Hoyt here, uh, developer advocate with IBM, and I'm going to talk to you today about Web Bluetooth. I have um, the uh, the light blue bean here from Punch Through. This is actually the original bean model. Um, uh, it comes with a, uh, a Bluetooth module, uh, an 18 mega chip, so it's Arduino compatible. It's got a uh, RGB LED on there and an accelerometer. It uh, runs from a coin uh, battery, and even it comes with a little uh, breadboard attached to it, so you can easily wire up uh, your uh, your inventions. And so this is the the light blue beam. This is the original model, pretty tiny. And uh, next to it is the beam plus, and that's the uh, uh, kind of the big brother to the beam. And the beam plus is really well designed for kind of prototyping and educational settings. It comes with a, a set of headers here for you to uh, to plug right into. It's got a a switch here over here for a 3.3 or 5 volt selector. It's got also the RGB LED and um, the accelerometer. Two, uh, two uh, Grove connectors for you, uh, on off switch. And the on off switch is important because it can be charged via micro USB into this LiPo battery. So uh, that battery is, um, let's see, 600 milliamp hours. So it's plenty big to hold uh, a lot of charge for most kind of basic applications. I've spent about a week developing this and uh, when I started it was at 100% and I think I've used maybe 5% of the battery the whole time. So I'm actually going to use the Light Blue Bean Plus. Again, these are from Punch Through. Um, great little Bluetooth devices. The, the, they can even be used as beacons or human interface devices or, um, or in this case just a BLE device which we're going to be using. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this guy and turn it on. And that's going to be our, our bean plus, our bean for the day. Now, over here, I have a browser. So this is Chrome. It's got web Bluetooth uh, enabled. And so I can actually connect it directly to the Bluetooth device. I don't have to you know, go through some server hook with serial port openings or anything like that. I just really can just connect it here. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and click on the Bluetooth icon here. It says, hey, it wants to pair. I'm going to pair with the Beam Plus. So I provided a name for uh, Chrome to look for in terms of the name I want. I could have left it open, and it would show me a list of all the Bluetooth devices. Um, but this is the uh, the Beam Plus is the one I specified for it to look for. It found it, showed it. Let's let's go ahead and pair it. So now I have the indicator in the tab. Uh, I've also changed the icon to do it, and I've revealed some additional controls. Over here in the debugging panel, you can see what's happening is that the bean is reporting the accelerometer values, the X and Y accelerometer values. Those are the first two values. And the third value is uh, the temperature. It also has a temperature sensor on the bean. So as I take the bean and I tilt it, it'll adjust, uh, it'll report different acceleration settings and then uh, rotate the logo accordingly to match my tilt. That's the accelerometer. That's being again reported via, via Bluetooth characteristics directly to the browser and JavaScript. Um, no additional servers or serial ports, anything like that needed. Um, also, want to be able to be able to show writing a characteristic piece of data. So you can uh, build a little color picker. Uh, we'll change it to say uh, bluish here, and then the light blue beam goes blue. I'll change it to say a yellow. And now it's a yellow. Probably doesn't show up very well in the video, but now it's a yellow. And then of course the temperature gets displayed as well. So it's 73 degrees on the beam plus at the moment. It doesn't really, if you're looking for something really accurate, right? It's gonna report the heat of the heat dissipation of the unit itself. My hands have been touching it, so there's some of that as well. Uh, but 73 degrees in the room currently, and I can just a little toggle. It actually gets reported in Celsius, so it's 23 degrees Celsius and uh, 73 degrees Fahrenheit. I added also a little, a little uh, extra um, to this capability to uh, move over to one of the, any of the icons and give an alt text as well. So let's go ahead and see what the alt text is for the Bluetooth. A Bluetooth device is currently connected. So we have Watson there telling us that the Bluetooth device is currently connected. Um, you know the blue is a, a fun color, let's go with that. The currently selected color is blue ribbon. The currently selected color is blue ribbon. And the temperature the current temperature is 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, Fahrenheit. And? The current temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. Beautiful. 
So now we have our beam, the accel reporting accelerometer over Bluetooth directly to the web page. We have the capability to set characteristics uh, to write into the, uh, the, the RGB LED. And functionally what's happening on the beam itself is um, I have a little Arduino program that taps into the uh, Bluetooth module via APIs provided by Punch Through for the Bean ecosystem. And so I can, uh, I can go ahead and tap into the, the characteristics very easily uh, from the Arduino code. The Arduino code runs and, and checks for any new RGB LED colors and then goes ahead and sets the accelerometer and temperature data. Go ahead and disconnect here and reset our scene. The bean goes away. I've actually told the Arduino to keep the bean in a uh, deep sleep. So the uh, while nothing is connected to it, it will sleep in a very, very deep sleep using very, very minimal amount of, of battery. And again, that's why it lasts so long. So it's really only using battery while it's connected and only a very minimal battery in terms of Bluetooth low energy at that. So there we have it, web Bluetooth uh, via Chrome and the light blue bean.